Okay, give me one second. All right, well, welcome everybody. We're excited to be with you this evening for our Sunday night team training. And I just wanna welcome everybody. We have a very special guest, uh, one of my dearest friends and now business partners uh, who I respect so much. Dr. Nicola Ducharme is here and she is going to be uh, sharing her wisdom on our most incredible products for Tandem Nerf 2 and Nerf 1. Uh, for those of you that don't know Dr. Nicola, Dr. Nicola is the founder and medical director of Restore Medicine in San Diego, California. She is a ve very well-respected author, and uh, she is a Lyme doctor and has treated autism. And uh, if you guys haven't read her books, go to Amazon, purchase her books. They're absolutely incredible. Uh, she not only practices here in the States, but you'll notice her beautiful accent. She is a native from Australia and uh, just an incredible human being as well as doctor. She cares about her patients. And I just feel so incredibly blessed that, uh, you know, she's been brought into my life by this uh, incredible science and information. So Dr. Nicola, we're excited to hear from you this evening and uh, let's take it away. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much. Well, it's such a pleasure to be here with you all. And, um, I will say, you know, I've worked with chronic illness, you know, whether it be autism spectrum disorders or Lyme disease for a, a long time now. And I'm always open to what my patients teach me. And I feel like as medical providers, we have such a responsibility to people who are struggling. And so I was introduced to Nerf 2 and Pretandem, Nerf 2, Nerf 1 synergizers by a patient of mine who came in and said, this has made a huge difference in my life. And I'd known this individual for a long period of time. And I said, well, you know, please tell me. I want to know more about it. And then I studied the science and I was absolutely convicted. Like the science of what we have here is profound. It's, it's absolutely oriented in medical research and what we need to be able to help up people. And I would just say to you, you know, I'm a physician. You're a you may not be a physician, but it doesn't matter. We're, we're all in here helping people. And that, that's what's so important at the end of the day. So I looked at the science of these products and I have sort of tried to find a way to explain it to other people. And so I'm just going to share that with you tonight. Um, so with the Pretandem Nerve 2 Synergizer, the key thing I feel about this product is it reduces oxidative stress. And I will tell my people, I'm going to tell you what I tell my patients who are right in front of me, who are interested in science and may have limited knowledge about, you know, what that looks like. They don't want to get caught up in all the scientific hoo-ha, but they want to know, like, what is this actually doing for me? And so I tell them the Protanum Nerve 2 Synergizer, the key thing is it reduces oxidative stress. And I say by an average of 40% in 30 days, which sounds wonderful. But what does that actually mean for them? Well, what it means for people, and this is what I would encourage you to express to your people that you're talking to, is it means less inflammation. It means that their detoxification is better supported. And oxidative stress, I say, you know, that's the cause. Like oxidative stress is free radical damage. That's the cause of aging which is fine for someone who's healthy and who is looking to just sort of age gracefully, but people who are really unwell or like anti-aging, like, mm, okay, fine. I just want to get out of bed in the morning. Well, oxidative stress and free radical damage is a fundamental cause of chronic health problems. And so to be able to reduce oxidative stress by 40% in 30 days, I don't know. I can't make this claim, but there are very few medications that could do that. So to be able to reduce the damage of oxidative stress on cells is really profound. And it also lowers inflammation. And at the end of the day, a lot of chronic health issues are due to toxicity, inflammation, oxidative stress and therefore cell damage and ultimately cell death. 
So if we can reverse that or if we can slow it, then we're at a huge advantage. And there's nothing else that can do this on a cellular basis, on a cellular level. So to reduce oxidative stress might sound just like a science-y sort of term, but what we need to be encouraging our folks is it reduces inflammation, it helps with toxicity, and it helps with cell healing at the basic cellular level. So part of that is increasing glutathione. And any, any of my patients would say, oh my gosh, she had me chug this awful glutathione stuff, like this supplement, glutathione, it tastes terrible. But you know what, glutathione is so important that I did. I had people supplement with glutathione. And I'm not saying that's the worst thing to do, but the NERF2 enhances natural glutathione production by up to 300%. And that's massive. Glutathione is two big things. One is it's an antioxidant. It's a key antioxidant in the body. It's a natural heavy metal chelator. But glutathione is also one of the substances that the liver requires to facilitate the detoxification process. Okay, so when you think of glutathione, I want you to think of two things. One is an antioxidant, which is anti-aging, but also protects the cells against free radical damage and other cellular damage. And then the second thing is it boosts liver detoxification. And there's not many substances that can do that. So then we increase glutathione by 300%. That's profound. Okay, so we've got oxidative stress going down, less free radical damage, less cellular damage, we're boosting glutathione. And then the other thing that NERF2 does is help with gene regulation. And again, different people have different levels of information, but methylation is a word that comes up a lot. MTHFR defects or methylation defects mean that 50% of the population cannot convert folic acid to a usable form of folate or methylfolate. So just trust me when I tell you, we need the methylfolate to be able to drive all the biochemical pathways in the cell. And so people supplement with methyl B12, methylfolate, methyl, you know, methylated vitamins, which is fine. You know, you can do that. But the NERF2 synergizer is the only thing that really trains the cells. It helps the gene regulation to produce, to make better choices by itself, I guess is another word I would say. It helps the genes to express more healthfully. So we're naturally increasing glutathione, increasing oxidative um, proponents. We're reducing, reducing oxidative stress. And then we're helping the gene regulation. So this is absolutely at a cellular level to make each and every cell work better to help with everything. It could be anti-aging. It could be just stopping the wrinkles. It could be preventing cancer. It could be, you know, helping the body to deal with chronic illness. These are the cellular things that we need to, you know, facilitate the health benefits for all our people. So the nerve two does so many things, reduces oxidative stress, boosts glutathione production, increases detoxification because it regulates the genes that help detox. And it, it, you know, increases the detoxification of every cell. Then we have the NERF-1 synergizer that helps to boost mitochondrial repair and mitochondrial function. So the mitochondria of the cell are the little powerhouses that produce energy. So that all sounds good, like NERF-1, energy, mitochondrial repair. We all want to feel more energetic. But even for the people that feel we have more energy, it's so much bigger than that. We need the ATP to fuel all of the cellular production within the cell. Um, 
to make every other biochemical pathway flow well. So if we want to use the, the, the NERF-1 synergizer, we're helping the mitochondria to function, which helps with ATP production, which helps with energy, but it helps with every other biochemical pathway in the cell. So what I've said, and I've, I've taken this from an event that I went to. I didn't make this up myself, but this, it made so much sense to me. The NERF-1 synergizer provides the energy for the NERF-2 synergizer to do its job. Okay, so let me say that again. The NERV2 synergizer to do the detox, to enhance the glutathione, to turn on the detoxification, that takes energy. Where do we get the energy from? Hopefully nutrition, but we also get the energy from the NERV1 synergizer that produces the ATP, right? So the the nerve two takes out the trash. And like I said, I heard this at an event. It, it resonated with me as a practitioner. The nerve two takes out the trash. The nerve one produces the energy for the nerve two to take out the trash. So they go together and it's, it's, and it's beautiful in the way it's so synergistic. So that's how I explain it. When I have a patient in front of me that I'm talking to about the science when I'm trying to explain it to a friend, that's how I explain it. And that's what I think is the key. We need to support detoxification and we need to reduce oxidative stress because most health problems these days come down to inflammation, oxidative stress, and toxicity. Whether it's Lyme disease, whether it's chronic heavy metal toxicity, whether it's mycotoxins, whether it's a bad diet and the impact that that has, they're the key roots of health problems. So I feel like our NERF-1 and NERF-2 synergizers have all the solutions that we need to, to support that. So that's, that's in a nutshell how I see it, Jenny, and how I see it, team. Um, and that's how I explain it to my people. It's, it comes down to the same roots, no matter what's going on. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Nicola. I know you've taken time out on your Sunday. And every time you explain the science, I get fired up and excited. You have such an incredible way of explaining it so that all of us laymen can, can understand really what we have our hands on here. And so I just want to thank you guys. Um, and thank you for, for sharing with us this, this evening. So, um, if you guys can see my screen, I hope you can. I've been having some technical difficulties over here, but so we're gonna get into the Facebook training tonight. Um, and I'm excited to share this with you guys. For those of you that don't know my story, um, my name is Jenny Crane. I'm an Elite Pro 7. I'm from Huntington Beach, California. And I joined Life Vantage in January of 2012. So needless to say, my journey here with Life Vantage has not been a fast growing journey. Um, but I can say I've learned a lot and I'm passionate about just sharing my story with you guys tonight. And I'm also very passionate about sharing Facebook with you guys and social media and really the power of social media. And this is really was one of the main things that transformed my business three years ago when I finally decided that I was going to dive into this thing called social media, this Facebook thing. I, I was terrified. So for those of you that haven't utilized this in your business, I can assure you we've all felt that way. It's a very natural way to feel. But I also can assure you, and I hope by the end of this training, this will have inspired you to utilize this in your business because I am telling you that this is a huge tool and um, it's, it's really going to be crucial in you building a long-term business. And we really come into this, you guys, uh, many different levels. So don't be... Don't be overwhelmed. He's not talking to me. He's great. Here. And like I said, everybody should be muted, but I can hear people in the background. So uh, please mute yourself um, on this uh, video. I can't do it. Everybody looks like they're muted. So we're just going to click on this and, and get started here. So like I said, by the end of this, I want to inspire and empower each of you to take baby steps. I know that it can seem overwhelming and, and things like that. So so tonight, you guys, we're going to be talking about utilizing Facebook groups to grow your business. Now, um, a few things about utilizing Facebook groups. 
Uh, there's many things that this does, but it really allows you to connect with people that have common interests. I always say that you want to attract people into this business, the people that have things in common with you. You know, you're going to be working with these people day in and day out. So you want to make sure that the people that you're attracting are going to the be the people that have the same common interests. I like to call it your avatar. You're going to choose your avatar. Who is that ideal person that you want to attract in? So if you haven't put much thought into that, and if you're taking notes tonight, write this down, choose my avatar. Your avatar is literally your ideal business partner. And I want you to do one thing, write down who your ideal business partner is, write down your top three characteristics of this person. Um, and then write down the top three characteristics of what you're passionate about as well. This is going to be some homework. So um, this training is mainly to inspire you to start thinking about that ideal person that you want to attract into your business and work with long term, because that's what we're doing here, right, guys? We are building long term relationships and not everybody's going to be a fit. That's OK. I think sometimes I know when I first started in the business, um, I was just wanting everybody like I would work with anybody. Oh, my gosh, it's so hard to get somebody to join. I would work with anybody whoever it may be, but guys, look at it this way. You are investing your heart and soul into the person that you're going to be working with. So another thing, like I want to get back into the groups here, but think about this guys, prior to social media, people would, would choose networking groups to build their business, right? We know some of those main networking groups that are still around today, but look at these Facebook groups as your new networking group right? And you don't even need to leave the comfort of your home to connect with these people. So these Facebook groups are, they're going to help you expand your reach. It's going to help you expand your reach and really get in front of people. I like to call it attraction marketing. That's what it's called. When we're utilizing social media to build our business, it's called attraction market marketing. Well, these people that you're going to be attracting are going to be your future business partners. So when you're utilizing Facebook groups, you want to always keep that in mind. So how to join Facebook groups. Um, you're definitely, like I said, write down those three characteristics of your ideal business partner, and you're going to want to join three groups. Okay. I know people that are part of 10, 15 groups. To me, I look at that and I say, well, how can you provide meaningful um, value into 13 different groups? I don't think it, it's the amount of groups that matter. It's the quality and you're going to want to make sure that you're committed to adding value and posting in these groups and creating relationships. So I say, as a beginner, especially, choose your top three groups. And the way that you're going to choose these top three groups is by the characteristics of the people that you want to partner with. Like I said, write those down. What is it that you're passionate about? You know, we have people, what I love about Life Vantage is we have people from all walks of life. We have the amazing naturopathic doctors like Dr. Nicola. You know, we have attorneys and stay at home moms and homeschooling moms, such a wide variety of people. And uh, ultimately you're going to attract people that have the same common interests as yourself. So you want to choose your groups wisely um, and then choose those groups upon the amount of people. I say that you want to be a part of a group that has at least um, 2,000 people or more inside of the group. You know, you really want to have that basis of, of enough people to connect with and provide value to. So make sure that you join groups that at least have 2,000 people or more. And then, you know, if you're, if you're passionate about animals and you're passionate about um, helping animals heal or you're a homeschooling mom, Whatever it is that you have in common, you're going to choose these groups. And like I say, join the group, check it out for a bit. What's the energy of the group? You know, a lot of time the energy of these groups are going to be what the admin of the group kind of feeds in, in, into um, these groups. So make sure that if you go inside of these groups and if you happen to see a lot of negativity and you're just not feeling, you know, the jive of the group, you don't have to stay in there. You know, make sure that you're choosing these groups wisely because over time, when you're building these relationships and adding value, like I said, you're going to be, you're going to be partnering with these people. Okay. So what not to do in groups? This is very, very important. I see so many people utilizing groups the improper way. Number one, first and foremost, do not spam the group. 
You guys, people do not want to hear about our products day in and day out. And in fact, most groups, the, the rules of the group do not allow soliciting inside of the group. So you're going to want to be very careful not to spam the group and make it feel salesy. You know, people are attracted by the value you add. So um, number one as well, or number two, I would say, do not break the rules set by the admins. Now, I have to tell you guys that I learned this the hard way. Um, just got kicked out of, out of a group about a month and a half ago. It literally devastated me because I've been a part of this group for probably over a year and have created so many meaningful relationships. I spent so much time in this group. Um, I was a little bit annoyed about it because I didn't think that I broke the rules, but however, the, the admins did. So they kicked me out of this group and I'm not gonna lie, it bothered me because I had spent so much time connecting and I was excited about the group. It was something that I was passionate about. So I just wanna give you like my personal story. Make sure that you're respectful of the rules of the group. Usually most of these groups that you're going to join, there's going to be you know, a rule section or a abide by section. Make sure you look through it and that you're just respectful. Um, and do not, like I said, post, picture about our pro post pictures about our products. I've def definitely seen inside groups where somebody will post, hey, looking advice for this medical problem that I have. And then below in the comment section, you have 50 people commenting all the products they have. People don't wanna see that. And ultimately you're gonna turn people off by, by exuding that sort of behavior. Uh, do not comment on someone's post and try to sell them, like I said. Um, also, don't hijack people's posts. I always look at people's posts in these groups as a way for me to inspire and uplift and just support them. You know, ultimately, when people feel supported and valued, that's going to make them remember you. You know, we have billions of people on Facebook. Why are they going to remember you? What is it that's going to keep them back, coming back to you? to add value and to get advice from. So always think of those things as you're providing value in these groups. Make sure that you're above reproach and that you have integrity in everything that you do. Um, and then, you know, when you see people commenting in the group, don't immediately send them in the message. You know, you see somebody say, oh my gosh, I have this health problem. I have fibromyalgia. I'm so sick. What do I do? I know your first inclination, I know my first inclination is to be like, oh my gosh, of course we have the perfect answer. I'm telling them about ProTandem. That is one of the worst things to do. You know, there's ways to build relationships first. Get people to trust you. You know, people do business with the people they know, like, and trust. So make sure that you're always keeping that in the back of your mind. So what to do? I always love the positive side of things. You guys, this is all about adding value and building relationships. That is really the beauty of social media is the fact that we have this platform that ultimately is endless. We have an endless opportunity to build a following and add value into people's lives. And you guys, that's the beautiful thing of network marketing. It, it enables us to touch and be a part of people's lives. You know, I, that is one of the things that this business has given me on so many aspects, but being able to add value and inspire people to me is, is one of the greatest gifts this industry has given me. So always add value. You know, this is about building relationships for people that say you can't build solid relationships on social media. It's simply because they are, they haven't had the experience. I have built some of the most meaningful relationships with people that I, that I hadn't even known um, on this platform. So like I said, be positive, build people up. You know, people are attracted to those that have that positive energy. Always that person that they know, oh my gosh, if I go to, if I go to Marissa's page or if I go to Sharice's page, I'm always going to see something positive. What are they up to today? Um, so share your knowledge. This is a place for you. This is why you're going to want to choose the proper group. What is it that you're passionate about? Of course you have knowledge with, behind your passions. Um, and people want to see that. So make sure you're sharing your knowledge. And then as you start engaging with people in the comment section, send them a message and introduce yourself. You know, that first message should be an introduction. And I always like to make sure that I send that voiced message introduction on Messenger because I feel like it's so much of a more intimate touch of, hey, this is me. I'm just not this person typing on the other end. I like them to hear my voice. And I always introduce myself. And as I'm introducing myself, I always let them know like, hey, look, I looked at your page. I always try to give them a compliment. You know, I noticed that you're, um, really passionate about homeschooling your kids. I love that. I love that you're passionate about wellness. I always give them a compliment. I always think that that's such a good solid foundation for that long-term relationship. 
is when you're really making it about the other person. That's when your business is going to change. Um, and then, like I said, be the person that you want to attract. You want to make sure that you're always staying consistent with that message. Another thing is posting consistently. And this is why I initially said that you don't want to be a part of 10, 15, 20 different groups because you're not going to be able to provide that same consistent value as you're building in those groups. So posting consistently and being somebody that they, that people in that group see constantly as a person of influence, as a person of knowledge is really going to help people start to notice who you are. Um, and your goal really in posting is getting people to engage with you. You want to make sure that you're posting things that is getting that engagement. Um, here's some examples. I always am one of those people that has to see examples, but I always, um, when I'm a part of a group, I like to post asking for advice and opinions from other people. Um, you know, people like to be the expert. They like to feel value. They like to feel like their value is helping you to become a better person. So that's really one of the consistent things that I'm putting into groups is asking for advice and opinions of others. Um, always make, like I said, positive and an uplifting posts. If you are making an uplifting post, um, in some of the groups that I'm a part of, at least once a week, I try to post something encouraging into that group. Um, I am a part of a few health um, groups and I always say, hey guys, you know, this is a day to make it a good day. Like, what are you going to do to empower your health today? Just things like that, making it uplifting. Um, and then commenting on posts that you see by sharing your knowledge and your opinion. And always remember that being a knowledge, being coming from a place of knowledge is not coming from a place of um, ego or anything like that. Guys, leave ego at the door. You know, I feel like Sometimes we want people to engage with us, but we're not willing to give what we want. Um, I always say the more you give on social media, the more you're going to receive. So always think of it that way. So here's a couple of examples. I'm sure you guys have read these already, but um, I have a girlfriend that's part of a homeschooling mompreneur group, and she posts the question, what do you ladies do to stay organized while building your business and homeschooling your kids? Now this exact post, many of you guys know Samantha Allen, but she was, an, she was able through this post in her homeschooling mompreneur group, able to attract a woman that has just taken off. I don't know if you guys know Sarah Harding, but she's really taken off with the business and has become one of Samantha's strongest legs. So just by posting this question, asking for advice. So I thought I'd use this as an, as an example, just to get you guys thinking about what it is that you can add and the questions that you can ask. And there's really the possibilities are endless. Um, example number two, wellness group. If you're passionate about wellness, I would hope that all of you are considering you're here in this business. Uh, but asking, what are some of your guys' favorite wellness products? You know, there are a lot of people in other network marketing companies inside of these groups. I always support and uplift people in other companies because ultimately you never know when that person is going to be looking for another opportunity. So this is not a competition. Uh, social media is a place to be positive. And you guys, there's enough negativity in the world. We see it every day in the news. We're bombarded with it constantly. We're consistently given that negativity. Our business and who we are and what we're building is all about uplifting and inspiring others. So that's really all I have to share. I know that we went through that quite quick and I think we are actually perfectly on time here. Um, but guys, I hope that this, this training has inspired you guys today. If you have questions, find me on Facebook. I'd be happy to kind of direct you in the right way. I know this is a pretty basic training. Some of you may have heard all of this information before, but ultimately I pray that this is going to inspire you to go out there, step out of your comfort zone, utilize this incredible platform. You guys, what we have here with Advantage and our product, Dr. Nicola explained are, are truly one in a million. And a lot of people haven't heard about them yet. So utilize this. Uh, don't be scared. Don't let fear get in your way. I know that all of you are capable of just becoming one, some of the most amazing people. I know that our company, I was just saying this, I was able to hop on early. I met Ed tonight who just joined Marisa's team. You guys, we are attracting the most incredible people into this business and onto this team. I have to say Carrie and Stu have done such a great job of setting the stage of always uplifting and just creating this dynamic team. So we're just blessed to have all of you new people on tonight. I hope that this has, you know, inspired you. And I just love you all. So this, this has been recorded. We'll send it out. And for those of you, for your teams that weren't able to be on tonight, it will be available to you here shortly. So 
Love you guys. And um, I'm just going to unmute everybody. I don't know if people have questions. I think it might be okay to ask questions. Um, maybe we could just open it up for a few since we do have maybe one or two more minutes. From me, no questions, I, but I have compliments for you. Good job. Good job. Oh, You're, thank you. Thank you. Is that you, Lon? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You're always, I have to say, you're always so positive. Thank you for your support. I love that. So. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, Any Jenny, questions? it's Maria. I have a question. Hi, Maria. Yes. Hi. So my question is, you said when someone says, um, oh, I'm not feeling well, I've got fibromyalgia. So you said, don't say something to them right away and private message them, and I've got something for you. So what would you say to them? That's a really great question. So I utilize our customer capture Facebook group as kind of a buffer. Um, I start the conversation and I just start asking a lot of questions. You know, I'll instantly message them and just say, hey, you know, I saw your posts about fibromyalgia in the group. Um, I'd love to hear a little bit more about your story. And I really start that back and forth, asking a lot of questions, engagement. And then there's certain people right away that'll kind of give you that vibe that they're like just not wanting to they won't Sorry, like that. And then you'll get those people that really seem to open up like, Oh my gosh, I've tried this. And so slowly I try to introduce it, but mostly it's just starting that conversation. And then within a very, I would say you always have to kind of use intuitiveness about it, but pretty quickly, if I find that someone's open, I just say, Hey, you know, just thought I'd bring it up. I'd love to add you into this education group, into my product education group. Would you like to be a part of it? There's a lot of information on oxidative stress and glutathione and things that I think you might find relative. And usually if they're open to being added, of course I ask them first, then they get into the group and that's kind of where that education starts. But it's not like, you know, initially like, oh, hey, protannin's your answer. It's, it's more like starting that conversation and then funneling them into the group to where they can see some of the information. If that, I hope that made sense and that's answered your question. That's no, that's that was perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah, and I and I definitely use and Biohack and Activate. Um, I send that a lot, and I also use all of the media on the apps. If I find that someone's open, I'll I'll say, hey, you know, this may be relative to you. And I I ask them first, though, always. Would it be okay if I sent you a video? I think you might find this interesting. And then if they say, oh yeah, I'd love to look at it, then I send it. I don't just spam videos. Um, I always, that's one thing you guys always ask for people's permission when you're engaging and don't, I, one of the biggest pet peeves of mine, and I think it's because of that proper training on Facebook is when people just spam you into groups and spam videos and invite you to their business launch. That is not the way that we're building a proper social media etiquette. I always ask people's permission and ultimately it's about building that relationship before you really bring in, the, you know, that's, that's just what we do. So I, I, I hope that answers your question. Hey, Jenny, it's Marisa. Um, I have a question. Hi, beautiful. Um, this is very valued. What do you think about, are you still um, wanting your new distributors? I've been trying to tell them to go to LV social media strategies on Facebook that Sam and Ray Allen actually created for life Vantage distributors. Um, that they can add their name, but I'm not sure how difficult it is for them to be approved because I know we're growing and I know Sam and Ray are very busy with approve, you know, with their business. So how does that work? Are we still yes. trying to people set? Yes. And in fact, if, um, the more admins we can get there, the better, because there are so many groups that we're all managing. So Marisa, if you would like to be an ad or anybody that wants to step up as an admin to approve people, that would be awesome. But yeah, that we're still utilizing that. It's pretty relative. I know that there's a few videos that they've updated, so I'll have to double check with them. Many of you guys know Sam just had her baby and raised um, off in the, the Middle East, so I will talk to her about that, but it's very relative and it's very great for basic training. Um, yeah. and like I said, every one of us starts off in that basic phase of um, doing just those simple, consistent action, action every single day that's gonna build over time. Okay, thank you. And yes, I'm happy to be an administrator of that as well. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and approve that for you. Okay, thanks. Hi, um, Kalita from Australia. Just a quick question. I loved your talk. It's something that I'm working on a lot at the moment. Um, so I was just going on from Maria's question, just taking it further. So some of the groups even have the policy of no PMing. 
so no personal messages how do you take it from there because you're not really wanting to sell on the group you're not really wanting to you know do you just connect with the person how how long do you do value before you start actually that's a really hard one I'm struggling with yeah well that's a good question and I would say um I personally have not run into that. I would say be a part of a group where it's a little bit more flexible because ultimately if you're pouring into this group and the the, the rules are super strict, that to me is a little bit, you know, they're trying to control like a back-end relationship building. That just seems a little extreme to me. I would make suggest finding a group that's not as stringent because ultimately those types of groups you'll probably get kicked out of anyway. Um, and the groups that I'm a part of, a few of the groups that I'm a part of, I've never seen that. So maybe that's, that's an option for you. Um, and then ultimately, you know, you can utilize groups as those common interests to just go in and like start building that friend request, you know, like seeing people that have the, the, the same interests as you and sending friend requests. One of the things that I would suggest, I know we're getting into like more training than normal here and anybody that needs to hop off, please feel free. Um, But definitely make sure that as you're friend requesting people and they're approving your friend request, Facebook likes to see that instant connection. So this is one of the things that's going to help engage the algorithm is that when you send somebody a friend request and they approve you, send them a message right away. Now, what's this message going to entail? It's not going to be like, oh, hey, join my business. Oh, hey, research all this stuff about her tandem. It's going to be like, hey, I just wanted to introduce myself. Thanks, for, thanks so much for, you know, accepting my friend request. I, lo- I can't wait to get to know you. Or something simple like that, starting that conversation. But Facebook really likes to see when you're engaging in Messenger with your new friends. Just a kind of little side bit tip about how to maximize the algorithm and get Facebook to like what you're doing and promote you as being relevant. I hope that made sense. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. Okay. I know I went off on a kind of a different direction, but there's okay. many. Um, hey, Jenny, pe- people were asking, what's the name of the um, uh, Facebook um, strategy page? And also, um, if you want to add me as an admin, I'll be more than glad to help. Awesome. Yes, I will. So it's called LV Social Media Strategies. And if you type that in, I, I believe it's a closed group, so you should be able to find it super quick. Um, since I'm going to be adminning Maria and Marisa, then you guys can either message one of us and we can send a link to the group, but it's LV social media strategies. And there's seven training modules in there that basically go through like the basics of social media, um, you know, the, the posting algorithm, you know, what you're supposed to post every day and things like that. It's just a really great way to keep you on point. So. Hey, Thank when you. I look, when, when I look that up, um, on Facebook, I come up with, uh, in a nutshell, we handle your social media. And the title of it actually is Social Media LV. So that can't be the same one. But I originally looked for LV Social Media Strategies. Okay. It's because it's a secret group. That's why. Oh. It's a secret group. Okay. So, How do we so get invited? You have to be, um, so you have to reach out to one of us and we, we can invite you. So whoever's team you're on, um, just ask them if they can add you to it. Yes. Yeah, it's there. So they must have changed it. It used to be closed and now it's secret. So yeah, absolutely. Get with you, get with your upline leader and, um, but the, more than likely they have access to the group already and they can add you. And if not, you guys can message me as well. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Um, hey, uh, my name is Lenise. I'm from Australia as well. I love you, uh, Australians. I love your accent. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> hey, I've just got a quick question. Um, I've been uh, taking Pro Tandem for 12 months. Just recently become a distributor about six or eight weeks, six weeks ago. Um, and the reason I became obviously a distributor is because I love the product so much and I found it so helpful. I'm one of those, I was one of those skeptics at the start. Um, so I'm actually in a couple of groups that are related to, um, a health issue, um, in particular diverticulitis, which is part of the reason I started taking it. There's a lot of skeptics on there. And the minute I sort of say, Hey, I've been taking this activated supplement for 12 months um, and I found it has really helped me. If you'd like to have some more information, then please, you know, PM me. Um, So, yeah, not out there sharing it, you know, straight up. But I 
get a lot of these people on there that go, oh, she's one of the, she must be saying one of those MLM things. Um, and now, and, go ahead. You know, I'm just like, what on earth do I come back with? I'm just like, no, God's get rid of this in case. Are so aggressive. Yes. Yeah. That's a really, really great question. And I just want to ch um, use this moment to get you to think of maybe a different way of approaching it. So instead of saying, you know, I'm taking this, this supplement and it's helped with my diverticulitis, you know, to some people that may not ac come across as like salesy and, but in these groups, I think people are used to spamming with that being said at, think of more of adding value. So instead of going in there and saying, Oh, Hey, I'm on this supplement that's helped with diverticulitis post something like, Hey, who in this group has ever heard of oxidative stress and inflammation as related to diverticulitis? Ah. Right? And it starts that conversation and you're not directly saying, Oh, I have this product that reduces oxidative stress and inflammation that's linked to diverticulitis, but you'll start getting engagement because it's a non-threatening post, right? You're just asking that question. Like, what do you guys know about inflammation and diverticulitis? You know, just approaching it a different way. Yeah. I've actually not actually done the post. I've just been responding to people. They ask the question and go, Hey, does anyone here take um, supplements? Have they found it help? And that's when I've just responded and gone, right. Hey, yeah. And then they go, oh, you must post it, um, post it for everyone to see. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I sort of, yeah. Well, I, I would say in the comment section, commenting is just as important as being the, the primary post because people go in and look yeah. at the comment section. So yeah. I would say on that, just as an example, how you would utilize that would be go in and just say, hey, look, does, have you ever researched inflammation, oxidative stress in your, in your yep. condition? And then from there, you can take it into messenger. Like they'll be like, oh my gosh, she must know something that I don't. So indirectly start the conversation without saying, oh my gosh, I took this product. And you know, okay. there's a way yep. around where you're more bringing up the topic to be like, oh, she must know something I don't or, you know. Yep. Okay. Awesome. I'll try that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Well guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Maybe time for one more question. Um, it's been great connecting with you guys. Yeah, Any no questions, problem, Jenny? Oh, thank you. Love you guys. All right. Okay. Love you. Not a question, but just a comment. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Good night. Amazing. All right, guys. Take care. Great call. Thank you, Jenny.